Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life and welcome back to our Sunday video. On Sunday, it's a little bit different here on our channel. We focus on recipes, cooking, health, keto, all of that fun stuff. And I'm really excited because I'm holding garlic. And not just like a little bit of garlic, like look, an entire bowl full of garlic. So this should tell you that this recipe is two things. Number one, delicious. And number two, terrible if you're a vampire. So if you're a vampire, you're probably gonna wanna click away from this video because in today's video, I am making a roasted garlic Alfredo sauce with zoodles and chicken and broccoli. Holy cow, that sounds delicious. I'm really excited. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is kind of show you all the ingredients that I'm going to need uh, for this recipe. I've got them all laid out over here, super fancy food network style. Uh, there's a number of things that I'm going to need for like the Alfredo sauce, and that's things like heavy whipping cream, things like Parmesan cheese, things like cream cheese, salt and pepper, uh, and then I've got chicken I'm going to cook up. I've got some broccoli I'm going to put in there, got a zucchini to make my zoodles, um, got butter of course, and I've got garlic, and the first thing we're gonna do is actually roast all of this garlic. Now, normally I roast the garlic in the oven. Um, however, I'm intrigued, mostly because I'm in this season of life where I'm addicted to the air fryer. I'm intrigued about roasting garlic in the air fryer because everything we've used the air fryer, air fryer for takes less time than the oven. And I did a bunch of research online and I found a lot of people roasting garlic in the air fryer. So we are going to give it a try. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the roasted garlic up in little foil pouches with some butter, just like I would if I was roasting it in the oven. And uh, fingers crossed, this works. So let's roast some garlic. I got a couple pieces of aluminum foil laid out also. There's Aladdin and Jasmine. Hello friends. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the garlic and I'm actually just gonna dump it kind of right down here in the middle and it smells it smells so good. I'm so happy. The next thing we're gonna do is cut up some butter and just put it in pats of butter on top. So I'm gonna go do that. Probably gonna use about half of the stick of butter. I'm just gonna take these and put them over here right on top of the garlic. Look at that, Sherry, what do you think? So yummy. So yummy. Now we're just gonna fold this up, fold the end up, fold the end up, Roll the side up, roll the side up so you have this like nice little pouch. And then we're just gonna take this, put it here in our air fryer. And I'm gonna cook this actually at 400 degrees. I'm gonna start it at 20 minutes and then we will see um, if that's good. So I'll check it at 20 minutes and see if it needs to go for longer. While the garlic is roasting, I'm gonna start working on a few other things, try to get things done in advance. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually make my zoodles. So I got my zucchini and then we bought this thing, I don't even know what it's called, the, the zoodler. Let's call it a zoodler, thanks Sherry. Um, and this is what makes our zoodles. It has two sides, so this side makes like a thinner zoodle. This side, if you take the end cap off of, um, wow, super amazing you guys, makes a, that was annoying, <laughs> makes a thicker zoodle. Uh, let me show you how it works. We love this thing, it's so great. So all that you do is take your zucchini, put it in there, and twist. And then what you want to do, because it will just keep going, so once it gets about the length of like, I don't know, a spaghetti noodle, yeah, just pull it out, boom. Look at how simple this is. Just like that, one zucchini, we have a gigantic bowl of zoodles. Next thing we're gonna do is get our chicken cooking. So I've got it going over here, a little bit of oil in our cast iron pan. And the air fryer just stopped after 20 minutes. So let's open this bad boy up, see how the garlic is looking. And if this whole air fryer roasting garlic thing, oh my gosh, it's working. Oh, can you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. It certainly smells good. It's certainly looking right, but we need to see if it's done or if it needs longer. I'm pretty sure I can already tell. Mm-hmm, it definitely needs longer. It's getting soft, but still needs a while. So, that was 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in for 10 more. 10 minutes, more is done. Please, oh please. Oh boy, yep. That looks so good. 
Oh, I'm so happy because you guys, it smells so amazing in here. And honestly, I don't know how much longer I can wait because of how good it smells. Sherry Bath, what do you think? Oh man. It smells it, good, Hera. Like huh? It's boiling, and so I don't want to stick my hand in there, but like it's. Uh, you kind of want to stick your hand, hand in Totally. There. So let's try it. Very hot. Why is roasted garlic so good? Like, I just want to. I could sit here with a fork <laughs> and just eat that. Like, dinner is just the entire air fryer thing roasted garlic. Um, it's not as. Hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Mushy. So when I do it in the oven, it almost has a creaminess to it. It's almost like it needs a little bit longer in there, Sherry. What do you think? Like, it's close. The flavor's there. The flavor's exactly right. The flavor's there, but it's not quite as The texture soft is not quite as soft. As we would want it. So, I'm actually, here's what I'm going to do, though, because thinking about it, this works really well. I'm going to pull out some garlic right now that I'm going to cut up to put in the Alfredo sauce. Uh, that will like cook with the cream to give it that nice garlic flavor. I'm gonna put the rest of this back in the air fryer while I make the Alfredo sauce, and then I'll put some just like whole cloves in there as well. I approve. Sherry approves, and that's all that really matters. So, <laughs> back in the air fryer, but let's keep some out. So now we're gonna get started on our Alfredo sauce. You can see over here, the chicken is done and is really good. Yes, it is. Um, and so we are going to start by putting two tablespoons. Honestly, it's about two and a half tablespoons because, well, obviously, I'm a butter fan. So we're going to melt that here in this pan. And then we are also going to add that roasted garlic that I chopped up. Now I just kind of gave these cloves a bit of a rough chop. Um, I am going to add more whole cloves of garlic here closer to the end. But this at least will give the uh, Alfredo sauce a nice garlicky flavor. So we're going to let that melt. Sherry, how does it smell? So good. I mean, it's butter and garlic. Like, <laughs> I know. How could it not? Come on now. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our cream cheese. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do is basically just like melt the cream cheese down. All right. Cream cheese mostly melted. Now we're going to add in the heavy cream. Just kind of continuously stirring that all in there. Cream cheese, butter, roasted garlic. I'm not mad about this. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to keep stirring this for just a minute. We want to bring this up to a slow simmer, but we definitely don't want it to be like a boil. So you're looking for just like a slow simmer, not a boil. Remember, this is on just medium high heat, like medium heat actually, not medium high. And once we see that come up to a slow simmer is when we're going to add the Parmesan cheese. Now we've got a slow simmer going on. So we are going to add in our grated Parmesan cheese. And stir that up. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 <laughs> as our friend Auburn Human would say. And really, once that cheese goes in, is where you start to feel it thicken up. Like you can just like, you can see it take on a better consistency. Yeah, it feels more like an Alfredo. Totally. So now we're going to turn this down to low for probably about, the recipe says 10 minutes. And so we'll let that be about about 10 minutes. And then at the end, we will add in our chicken. We will add in some steamed broccoli. We're gonna add in more um, of the whole cloves of roasted garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper as needed. I'm so happy about this. Well, we have success. Um, these look perfect. Like I just tried one and they are absolutely amazing. Careful, Sherry, don't burn your cute little fingers. But I have a feeling you're gonna be happy. What do you think? I feel really hot, but... It's what we want, right? Yep. I agree. Mm -hmm. Got our Alfredo sauce going over here. It's actually looking darn perfect. So I think we're gonna go ahead and add some of those whole cloves of garlic in there. Sherry was joking that I should just dump the whole thing. She's not wrong, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that because we do still have chicken to go in there. We have broccoli to go in there. Plus, honestly, I also want to save some of these garlic cloves just to snack on because they're so good. Next, we are going to get our broccoli steaming. I've got it already over here in this fancy little Pampered Chef steamer. Uh, we're just gonna put this in the microwave for probably three or four minutes. Broccoli is in the microwave. Sherry, do you want to start bringing some chicken over here and we'll put it here in our amazing Alfredo? Oh my goodness. Is that good? 
Good ratio? <laughs> no, not a good ratio. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Is that a good ratio? What a pain in the butt you are. <laughs> Honestly, we don't even really need the zoodles. <laughs> That's probably good sherry back because we're going to still add a bunch of broccoli in here. Yeah. Perfect. Also, I want to show you guys over here. Look at the roasted snack. I was just going to say, this is the roasted garlic we can put in the fridge <laughs> or sit here and eat. Oh, this is the one I'm so excited about. Oh, <gasps> it's like got the crunchy bits. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Absolutely in heaven. Yeah. Microwave just went off. How's it look, Sherry? Perfect. Oh, it does look perfect. So let's drain the water out of those. Now we're going to start adding some pieces of broccoli. Oh, this meal is going to be so delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing. You can buy Alfredo sauce in a jar. Sure, but it doesn't taste as good. In confession, we do from time to time. Sure. But when you can make your own Alfredo, it really is way better. And it's so easy. I'm going to take our zoodles and just toss them in the microwave. The nice thing about zoodles is, I don't know, like maybe 15, 20 seconds. Okay, now it's time to plate up. Oh yeah, it is. So we're just gonna take some zoodles, like so. I'm gonna scoop the broccoli, chicken, roasted garlic, Alfredo. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> the smell is, the smell is spectacular. This is one of the better smelling meals mm -hmm. we have made. I mean, it's butter and garlic and cheese. That's where I'm at. Like, how could with, it not like, smell? chicken and veggies. Amazing. Cherry Beth. Mm-hmm. How does that look? Perfect. You can see Cherry Beth topped hers with more Parmesan cheese. Correct. You could also add more roasted garlic. You could do salt and pepper if you want. However, uh, even though we haven't added any salt and pepper, I don't think it needs it. I don't think so either. Now, time to eat. So in a meal like this, uh, we've tried all the individual items. We've tried the chicken, we've tried the sauce, we've tried the roasted garlic. Um, we haven't tried it all together. And so I like to have my first bite have everything. So I got everything in there in my first bite. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yep, 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 yep. All right, Sherry Beth, you took your first bite. Yep. I took my first bite. Yep. I need your thoughts. It's so good. And I know people might be a little bit put off by the zoodles. Yeah. Don't be. Because honestly, they're just a carrier uh -huh. for like the rest of it. Like it's all so good and you really don't taste the zucchini part of it. I agree. In fact, that's a zoodle pro tip. If you cover zucchini in enough fat and cheese, um, <laughs> 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 the zucchini goes away. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Uh, this is great. You could also add some like roasted red pepper flakes to this if you wanted just a little bit of heat. To me, this is perfect. There is nothing I would change about this meal. Um, the Alfredo sauce is perfect. The roasted garlic is spectacular. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I cut up the roasted garlic and cooked it in the butter and then added the whole roasted garlic cloves later. Um, I have no changes. Sherry, is there anything you would change about this? No. This is perfect. So friends, um, an absolute home run Sunday cooking video. Again, I'm going to link down below to the high five. Um, I'm going to link down below to the Alfredo recipe that I used. This is one that I've, uh, that I've used a number of times. It's just so simple. It's so easy and so delicious. Um, and then again, we just added chicken. We added zoodles. We added broccoli. You could add whatever else you wanted in here. Mm -hmm. Customize it, make it your own. But for us, this is perfect and we have a whole container of roasted garlic snacks in the fridge mm -hmm. so uh pretty, pretty <laughs> happy about that friends we love you guys so much we're gonna go finish dinner because it's so good and we'll see you on the next leg life video